Okay, on to the back nine at the Pearl. This is a par four playing 350 yards, slightly downhill, water on the left and right, and dog leg left. And again, playing with Alex, who hits a pretty good drive just right of the fairway, but carried that water on the right. I'm hitting a three wood Perfect shot. just to keep it in play. And I hit that pretty good right down the middle. So Alex had about a little over a hundred yards, caught it just a touch heavy. It's a little bit short. I had about 90 yards. Also didn't catch it very clean and left it short and right. So we both need to chip and putt if we want to make par. Alex, it's a pretty good chip. Looks like to about 10 feet. And I hit a pretty good chip also, I think to about three feet. Alex comes up just a little short. Taps in for a five. And this would be a nice up and down. And I get it to drop. So on to 11, par five, playing 518. Out of bounds to the right, and Alex sort of starts it down the right side. It's gonna be close. And I pretty much follow him. Same flight path. And you can see the white stakes were both just inside. You can see my ball up ahead there. Alex I just laid up with a four iron. I've got a five wood also going to lay up. Hit it pretty good to the middle to about 60 yards. I think that just ended up a little bit short. Alex had a hard pan lie. Depends on the kick. And he ended up a little bit short also. So he's chipping up for his fourth shot. And I'm putting for birdie. Not a bad putt. Just didn't get it to the hole. So there's a par for me, and then Alex needs this little three-footer for his par. And knocks it in. So two pars, good start so far. This par three is playing about 185 yards. That's really good. Alex hits a pretty good shot. I believe he hit Five iron. I've got a four iron. Can also hit it right. Oh no, this one I hit, I think, a little left. Yeah, I caught, uh, caught that hill there and it bounced it over the cart path, but it was pinned high and. Good speed on that chip, just a little bit left. Alex had a really good chip. So we have par putts. Mine was about 12 feet and it drops, barely. So we'll take that par for sure after that tee shot. I think this was about four or five feet for Alex. And he knocks it in. So two pars again. This is a really tough hole. The drive is very narrow. And left is pretty much dead and right is dead. Alex went right. He's dead. I went left. 
<laughs> I'm dead. So, not a good start. I have to take an unplayable. Still don't have really a shot to the green. Pretty much lay up from about 190. Alex is about 170. Pretty good. I think he hit that one pretty good. Might have come up just a little short. So I am chipping basically for a par. Hit a pretty decent chip. Alex also chipping for par. Not bad. So we've got bogey putts. That would be really nice to make. Can't do it. And Alex misses as well. So double bogeys for both of us. This is a par five. Alex mm -hmm. hits a bit of a low runner, but it goes a long way. I had a really good drive. You have to get over that hill. And if you do, you get the downslope. Yeah, Alex ended up, that par 5 played a little over 500, and he was... Oh, good kick. Maybe 210, so he hit that low runner a long way. I had about 200, but I was down in a little ditch and had a horrible lie and kind of drop kicked it. Yeah. Straight. Left me about 70 yards, and this was probably my worst pitch of the day it hit the green on the back side but then rolled probably another 30 or 40 yards so I was a long ways off I chipped back up to here so now I have this for par and I send that a good six feet past So after, you know, 290 yard drive, I needed a six footer to save bogey. Very disappointing. And Alex had that for birdie. And just missed, so he comes up with a nice par. This hole is a par four. It was playing 375. I didn't I see it. We ne neither of us saw where Alex hit it. We just heard it hit the tree on the left. But he hit it solid. I also hit a pretty solid drive right down the middle. We ended up finding Alex's ball. It went over the trees. It clipped the top of one of those trees. And he hits a pretty good shot. It just rolled over the back on the right. I hit a pretty good 50 degree from about 100 yards. So I think I have a putt for birdie. Yeah, Alex had to chip back up. It was a little short. I've got this long birdie putt, about 25 feet or so. Knock that in for par. And Alex <laughs> basically <laughs> needed the pin to keep that from going a long ways away. So he, he knocks that in for par. Solid. So this is about a 185-yard par three. And I hit my four iron right over the pin. And Alex hit a good shot as well uh, to the middle of the green. So two good shots. Alex has this birdie putt from about 30 feet. And that just ran out. Really quick green. So I saw that and really hit that pretty easy. And almost made it to about a couple inches. Take that par. And now Alex 
That's a good 10 feet at least to save par. Just misses it on the low side. Good putt, just didn't drop. So this is a 350 yard par four. You can't miss it right. You see the white stakes and the looks like cornfields to the right. And that's exactly where he hit it. So I told him, go left. Left is good. So he's hitting three. And he does go left and flirts with the OB on the left hand side, but hit it hit it really well. I hit mine really well. But this fairway really was dry. Alex ended up being in play on the left hand side, so he's hitting four, which ended up just a little bit short of the green. I ended up in the fairway bunker about a hundred yards out and just really caught that clean, that 50 degree. So I go over the green, oh. Alex chips up for his fifth shot. I'm chipping for birdie and a really good chip. Thought it had a chance to go in, hit the pin. Went about three feet past. Alex. Wow. Yeah, had that for a six. We gave him a seven. I've got this for par. And couldn't get it to drop. So bogey for me, double for Alex. Perfect. On to 18. Alex hits a really good drive, a low stinger. And the left-hand side of the fairway, I hit a pretty good drive just on the right-hand side, and it catches that hill on the right and goes down a deep slope. Alex hits a pretty good shot, gets on the green, maybe a little short. I have a blind shot. I have no idea where the pin is, and I have to get under that tree. I just hit a six iron. I don't even know how, maybe 120 yards just to run it up there hopefully get somewhere around the green and I end up right there pin high luckiest shot of the day and I have about a 50 foot putt that looked pretty good until it tailed off yeah, I kicked that back. to about a foot and a half and I'm just going to go ahead and take that par Alex has about two and a half feet for his par. And yeah, not, not the best way to end, but not terrible. A 40 for me on the back, 44 for Alex. So 82 and 89, not bad at the Pearl. See you on the next one.